Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Did you see on that iPhone 10 face recognition? The one without the home button? Just incredible. That's how the thing turns on. It's going to be wild. All right, let's take you outside. Burlington, 63 degrees right now. Wind nice and calm. Not much going on. It's a very nice summer night. I know it's late in the summer, starting to feel like fall at times, but not so much this week. How about the planter? Temperatures coming down mid 50s. That should do it for a low tonight. Figure about 55, 56 degrees. Some of us finding fog developing. Man, saw that last night into the beginning of this morning. I mean, it was pretty darn foggy out there in some spots. Not so much right in the Champlain Valley, but you know, as you get up into the Northeast Kingdom, parts of the Adirondacks. How about the temperature trend looking at the next seven days for this time of year? This is something else. We will be at 80 or better through the weekend into next Monday and then temperatures dropping like a rock after that. Enjoy the great weather while it's here. Storm Tracker looking around. Bunch of nothing going on. We'll widen out a little bit. We're going to find the leading edge of clouds because of Irma getting a little bit close to us, and they will affect us just a little bit over time here. Not so much during the day tomorrow. A few high clouds from it. Certainly the main event or what's left of the main event is down to the south. Still some rain coming down places like Kentucky and also into Tennessee, even points off to the west from there. Some of this is going to lift into our area. We've got the chance for a couple of rain showers. Again, not so much tomorrow. The day after that, I think a lot of us remain dry, though. You probably know, I've heard by now, we've got another hurricane out there. Jose, winds 75 miles an hour, minimal hurricane. Do you see the direction it's going in? Looks like it's going backwards. Look at the track on this thing. It goes backwards for a while. Then it does a big old loop. It looks like it's going to stay away from the east coast of the United States. We will continue to watch that. Stranger things have happened, as you know. Here's the deal for us tomorrow in the morning. Some patchy fog around for some, otherwise mostly sunny. Temperatures getting into the 80s. Watch Futurecast here. Take it right through the overnight. We're good. Here comes your tomorrow. Couple of clouds mixing in. That's about it. Tomorrow night, I think a few more clouds. Here's Thursday and that chance for just a couple of rain showers. I think most of us remain dry on that day. We'll keep the chance for a couple of showers on Friday but down to the south. For tonight, it's going to be clear, some patchy fog late tonight. For tomorrow, any fog burns off, mostly sunny from Messina's 80 to Saranac Lake, 77, 80 E-Town, 79 degrees. As you head toward Plattsburgh, 78 Montpelier, 81 in Burlington, mostly sunny after any fog burns off. And down to the south again, we're going to find sunshine, especially by the afternoon with increasing sun. Arlington, 79, Brattleboro at 83 degrees. Five-day forecast, here we go. 81 tomorrow, pretty darn nice, just a few scattered showers expected on Thursday. I think most of us actually remain dry. 80 degrees, best chances for a couple of showers Friday, well to the south. And then on Saturday, sunny 82. Sunday, partly sunny 81. Ditto, Monday looking good. Then Tuesday, our next chance for some rain showers. With a high that day, a cool 70.